Now, the United Nations has released a staggering report saying that over the past two days, one Palestinian child has been killed every hour. All in all, about 75% of all the deaths in Gaza are civilians. That's according to estimates, with the death toll standing at more than 630. The UN rights chief says that there is a strong possibility that Israel's actions could amount to war crimes. Well, a Norwegian doctor volunteering in Gaza wrote an open letter in an attempt to draw international attention to the horrific scenes witnessed by the medics. He describes lakes of blood in emergency rooms and a never-ending flow of wounded. Mads Gilbert also appealed to Western leaders to go to Gaza in person and see what's going on there. He says that spending one night at a hospital where he works would be enough to change their minds. Harry Fear has more. With Israel's navy to the west, tanks and ground troops to the north, east and south, and its modern air force all the while overhead, there is no shortage of extreme risks for Gaza's paramedics and other first responders. Well, we were on our way to uh, middle Gaza and the taxi driver that we were using basically got a phone call saying his home or the building in which he lives has been destroyed. This is what's left of it. The Israelis called us, ordering us to evacuate our home. And just after we left the home, they bombed it, reducing it to the state you see it in now. I am happy that nothing happened to anyone from my family or any neighbors. Despite losing his home, our driver insists we continue our journey. As we travel south from Gaza City, airstrikes and shelling become all the more visible. But the Palestinian Red Crescent's ambulances haven't reached some affected areas leaving civilians distraught. But entering such areas can be deadly for paramedics. Ambulances have come under fire in this recent escalation. One medic has already died, and it's happened before. A paramedic died in the 2012 war. More than a dozen others died in the 2008-2009 conflict. Well, in the last five minutes of being here at the Al-Aqsa Hospital in Middle Gaza, we have seen three Israeli unmanned aerial vehicles fly over and we've seen just as many dead bodies arrive here. In order to let Palestinian paramedics do their job, Israel called a unilateral ceasefire in an area that's seen heavy strikes. Scores of ambulances, fire engines and diggers rushed in to help the many injured and to recover bodies. A barrage of missiles struck the surgery department, which is home to casualty and trauma patients, causing many deaths and injuries. First responders are internationally legally protected workers. Fearing that's not enough, they've been joined by foreign activists volunteering as human shields. But even with that protection, Foreign volunteers shielding an early civilian evacuation ended in the death of one teenager, apparently as a result of multiple IDF gunshots. Exhausted and overwhelmed with people needing their urgent attention, Gaza's paramedics have a seemingly impossible job to do, all the while trying to avoid being part of the body count themselves. Harry Fear, RT, Gaza.